Hello everyone, I'm Tim Glasscock, past chamber president. Tonight I am the master of ceremonies for our 80th annual chamber banquet of year 2021. I'd like to welcome each and every one of you here this evening and thank you for being here to honor our incoming president, Clay Radford, and our outgoing president, Jack Wetzel. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and have dinner first and we will start our program. Tim, 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 what, Tim, what, 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 what are you doing? There's, there, there, there's no dinner. There's, where, there, where is everybody? What's so what? We're in the middle of a pandemic. What are you doing? Well, it's tradition. I know it's tradition, but not in 2021. So Did this you is. Learn anything from 2020? No one's here. All right. Well, now that you mention it, I thought it was kind of a short crowd. Are you talking about me? <laughs> well, not specifically you, but okay. <laughs> but yeah, now yeah, I think you are a little bit, okay. especially when I'm up here. I know that. Yeah. Well, what do we do during a pandemic? I've never. This is my first pandemic. We're making a video. Great idea. Rather than our 80th annual chamber banquet, we're going to have our first ever virtual banquet and I hope it's our last. I wanna get back to the norm and hopefully we're in that new mode. So I hope everyone's staying safe out there. We've got a quick five minute little overview that we'd like to do to let you know the chamber is still here and working for each and every one of you. Uh, we're gonna bring up uh, some of our staff members, our incoming chamber president, as well as our outgoing chamber president. So enjoy yourselves for our first ever and only virtual chamber banquet. Hello, I'm Jack Wetzel, the 2020 president of the Chamber of Commerce. I appreciate all joining us tonight. 2020 wasn't the year we have envisioned. Uh, as we all know, the pandemic hit and it caused concern for our health. 2020 was the year of uh, vision for tomorrow. Uh, we're now looking forward to 2021. I would like to thank the outgoing members of our Chamber Board. They give extra time and effort to make our board successful, and we do appreciate their efforts. The outgoing members include Mary Cup, Gene Henry, Dave Garnett, and outgoing past president, Nina Sisk. Thank you. We had a big year uh, behind the scenes. Debbie Van Winkle, longtime chamber director, retired. So we were on a long search for replacing her. Mid-year, we did find a good replacement, uh, David Lee. Um, we have worked hard to come up with activities and different ideas to keep chamber members engaged uh, through this pandemic, and we worked hard to kind of plan for 2021. Uh, we also, within the chamber board, uh, decided to add operations manager um, to make things more efficient, and that is Joyce Carr. So we appreciate both of them coming on uh, to our team, and we look forward to the years to come with them. Uh, let's look forward to 2021 and to the success for all our businesses and members. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joyce Carr. And I'm David Lee. Okay, Hello. maybe I'm Joyce Carr. Yeah, and I'm David <laughs> Lee. I'm the director of the Clinton Chamber, and Joyce... Is the operations manager at the Clinton Chamber. We have a bunch of stuff going. In December, we had receipts to receive. We had uh, buy $100 in gift certificates. We'll give you some for free. And then uh, coming up with Valentine's Day, we have another promotion going on. Love Local. This Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. And so if you go to any of our chamber businesses and spend $25 or more and bring those receipts to us at the chamber, or you can email them, we will take a copy and then you'll be put in a drawing for a big basket. David at ClintonMo.com. Or Joyce at ClintonMo.com. Go Chamber. My name is Mark Dawson. I'm the Economic Development Director for the Greater Clinton Chamber of Commerce. I'm here to talk to you about the 2020 year in economic development. I must say 2020 was a year unlike anything I've experienced in my 34 year career in the business. From lows created by problems with COVID, but also there were also great things that happened during the year. Here are some of the good things that happened in Clinton this year. We completed our business uh, retention calls to over 35 companies and we developed numerous programs and ways to help those companies this year. We surveyed business community on the impacts that COVID was happening on them and developed tools to assist them 
provided information for them. We developed a virtual meeting webinar on attracting and retaining employees for our partners with the University of Missouri Extension and Small Business Development Center. We opened 29 new projects this year compared to 24 last year. That's a 21% increase. We submitted 19 proposals to the Missouri Partnership for Industrial Attraction Projects. That represents a 10% increase this year over last year. We assisted six local manufacturers with expansions in 2020. Five of these have already announced. They represent a capital investment of over $12.2 million, building square feet of over 108,000 square feet, projected new jobs of 125, payroll of over $3 million. Those companies include, that have already announced, include Montrose Grain, TC, White River Marine, Cook Auction, and Powell Meats. We're currently monitoring 16 projects, which is up significantly from last year, and this is our 21 deal pipeline already that we work off of. And finally, a big thank you for all the company officials, city staff, elected officials, and our economic development partners. You have made a big difference in Clinton. Didn't you send him the same email that we got? That I said we had one minute. It's supposed it, to be short. Did you not tell him, Jack? I did. Up with this. Hey, watch this. Watch this. <laughs> I've got this app on my phone. Look at this. <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah. Perfect. Watch I this, Mark Dawson. <laughs> and in closing, also a special thank you to the chamber board and staff. You're great to work with. Appreciate your knowledge, your friendship, and your leadership in the last year. It's been very helpful. Thank you. Hello, I am Clay Radford. A lot of you may not recognize me, but you may be familiar with my voice as I am the owner of Radford Media Group, our great radio stations here in West Central Missouri, KDKD and KXCA. Well, I am very honored to be the 80th Greater Clinton Area Chamber of Commerce President for 2021, and I'm excited for the new year and getting back to business as normal. I'm excited to grow our tourism and bring people back to Truman Lake to visit our museum, to shop in downtown Clinton, and to bike on the Katy Trail. Very excited to get things back to normal with our tourism efforts. Also on the Chamber side for 2021, I would like to see uh, more educational programs uh, get in, in implemented and also help the business owners with additional resources to the business owners as well as just all of our members as well. I'd like to say a big thank you to all of our board members that have uh, left us this past year and also excited for the new board, board members to join us here in 2021. Jim Smith with Oak Star Bank, Tanya Gilly with Bucksall Resort and Marina, Daniel Doty with Doty Legacy Group, Tim Deskin with White River Marine, Tracker Marine here in Clinton. And a big thank you to Kyle Atkins. He uh, accepting a th another three year term on the board with uh, GVMH and Rick Peerless appointed by the city of Clinton. And a big thank you to you for being a member of the greater Clinton area chamber of commerce. Without you and your support of the chamber, David, Joyce, Mark, and the rest of the board will not be able to do what we can do to help our local businesses grow. And we hope to do so in 2021. So thank you, and I look forward to the next year. All right, I hope everyone enjoyed our first ever virtual chamber banquet, and I hope it's our last one. Uh, I'd like to remind you all the money you've saved. We didn't charge you anything for a meal. You can eat at home and watch this video as many times as you like. Uh, I do want to remind you of one thing we do have in mind, and everything is safe. We plan to have a big kickoff business after hours, and we'll have more information about our Chamber of Commerce. Now I'd like to share with you a few remarks that I would like to share with each and every uh, Tim, one of you. I, I think this video is about over, so why don't you come Goodbye. We're going to do the uh, prayer and the pledge. And at some point, you guys are going to have to interrupt me. <laughs> Here, can, you, can we start over? The, we, okay. The, the chamber. So I don't, I don't know if you're all right with that or want to go back. I'd like to recover, just redo the whole thing. It's yes. kind of jumbled. Peerless with the Clinton City.
I want to say Clinton City of Chamber of Commerce. <laughs> and Rick Peerless with the Clinton Ch and Rick Peerless with the Clinton City of Council. Rick Peerless appointed by the Cl City of Clinton. Yeah. And Rick Peerless appointed by the City of Clinton for the Chamber.